mind-blowing once again. Pop, pop, the big pop boy. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Big Pop Boy where we are going to have another video about Darkness Ablaze because why not right? It's absolutely all the rage right now. It's out just in around a week. So what I wanted to do was go over the prices after a week because everything's kind of settled down like at the beginning of the week people were selling Charizards for 200 euro. They've settled down to a better price at the moment. I still think that they might drop a little bit more because at the end of the day this VMAX Charizard is not a super rare it's it's just a regular VMAX Charizard so I reckon there's going to be a lot of these guys floating around so I think the price may still come down on that Charizard but there's some other cards in there that might actually surprise you and at the same time some cards that are pretty like rock bottom on price that if you were going to buy them buy them now because they're super cheap so let's get through all that but before we do i would like to remind everybody this little bad boy is still up for grabs along with a mystery box for yourself that's right this one's still sealed hasn't been open i'm not trying to trick you guys this thing's gonna stay sealed until we find someone worthy of winning this and also once we get 1000 subscribers because that's what the giveaway for this is but also guys if you like giveaways pay attention to let me think which corner is it i can't remember i kind of get the feeling like it's this corner so i'm going to pop up a couple of little uh little thingies that you guys can click on if you want that will also bring you to other videos that still have giveaways going on in them so if you guys want to go check them videos out why not right there's more giveaways going so if you can get into a giveaway get in hopefully you guys are going to win it also quick reminder that every video since my 700 subscriber giveaway results is an extra chance for you guys to win that's right. So get your comments in on every video. Today's comment is going to be, hmm, what would I like you guys to comment? I'll tell you what. Tell me something that you guys would like to see on the channel to do a Pokemon that you guys haven't seen yet, okay? So let me know whether you guys would like, I don't know, but whatever whatever you guys would like to see on the channel just let me know if it's something that you've already seen on the channel let me know anyway you guys do that that's an extra chance for you to win also guys if you can share the videos press that little like icon there hit the um the notification thing make sure you are getting notified when new videos come out so straight up in the number 10 position is the golden capture energy which is an absolutely beautiful card that card is currently coming in at 12 euros and 60 cents that is 14.90 in dollars so it's either 12 euros and 60 cent or 14.90 in dollars which i think is cheap for that card right now i see that gold capture energy going up a little bit in value as time moves along. The thing is, everybody's hunting the Charizards and some of the other rare cards. So some of the cards lower down the list are going to be the ones to go after right now because they're going to drop up a little bit. Next on the list is the Salamence Super Rare Rainbow card, which is coming in at €14.70 average price at the moment for a mint condition which is obviously, well, near mint, as they always say, which is mint condition. But for yourselves to have the Salamance, which is the full art, super rare rainbow card of a beautiful Salamance, you're looking at 14 euros and 70 cent. Or in dollars, it's funny how this one works out. It's 17 dollars and 40 cent. So there you have it, guys another great card and that is in the number nine position next we have colossal uh, the colossal super super rare gold card 
which is coming in at 14 euros and 90 cent so 14 euros and 90 cent for your gold super rare colossal and he is a beast of a card like i i don't like colossal as a pokemon i think he's hideous i don't like anything about him he's just not my kind of pokemon but i'll be quite honest this gold card is actually pretty damn nice okay it's one that i'm gonna want in my collection and that's for sure so at the price it's coming in at right now under 15 euros guys grab that card it's a bargain to be had because it is fantastic i want one you should want one if you don't want one i don't know what's going on with you you call yourself a pokemon fan hmm i wonder anyway on to our next spot in the next spot we have crobat v that's it just crobat v and Crobat V is coming in at 15 euros and 30 cent. I can't believe a regular V card is coming in. So expensive at the moment. But given its playability, that's only natural. Always the cards that have great playability will be going very expensive in the first couple of years. So if you have a few of them, sell them all off now because most likely they're gonna drop down in price because their playability will not be there after the after a few years they'll be out of commission they won't be able to be in tournaments or anything so therefore their price is just gonna plummet and shoot down it's not gonna be a super rare card anymore it's only rare because people are trying to buy them all up to build nice decks so in the number six spot we have Santa Scorch V Mac secret rare rainbow card absolutely beautiful card so it's really really nice it's really really nice it's coming in at 15 euros and 80 cent at the moment which is a nice price for that card so we're starting to get up to the more expensive cards now so yeah 15 euros and 80 cent for Scent of scorch v max super rare rainbow absolute beautiful card personally i like full arts more than rainbow cards but rainbow cards are going to be more expensive actually love golden cards golden cards are absolutely beautiful something about them they just blow my mind i want so many of them anyway let's check out what's in the number five spot because in the number five spot we have a nice one in the number five spot we have the turbo patch trainer card which is another secret rare gold card and that is an astounding price already of of 17 euros and 60 cent like that's just absolutely unbelievable in the number four spot is a card that i personally expected to be a little bit higher on the list and that is and that card is eternus vmax secret rare rainbow card that is coming in at 19 euros and 90 cent at the moment i honestly expected it to be a little bit higher on the list i was thinking second or third place but hey look it's got the fourth place so it's it's there i'll be honest i thought this would be in the second place only second to one card that we all know who that card is i haven't got there yet i'm not gonna say it just yet but i'm pretty sure everybody knows exactly who that card is in the number one space already so without further ado ladies and gentlemen mostly gentlemen to be honest i'm pretty sure the majority of the people watching my videos are guys could be wrong who knows in the number three space is crowbat v full art that's it just a crowbat v full art and he is pulling in the astounding price of 23 euros 23 euros for a regular crowbat v sorry no well not regular it's the full art crowbat v coming in at an average of 23 euros at the moment mind-blowing once again i don't know how it happens playability can just make a card skyrocket for the first while until obviously people get enough of them to build the decks that they want and then the prices just go so if you have yourself some nice crowbat v's 
get them sold straight away, make yourself some money, wait a year or so, and then buy them back. All right, why not? Easy way, make some money for yourself, guys. All right, in the number two spot, this is a card that we all knew was going to do well. Everybody knew. Of course, it's Rillaboon, secret rare, gold card, banging on his drum. Absolutely fantastic, beautiful, beautiful card. He just like sparkles of awesome chesty monkiness. You know, like you seem like ha 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 ha. Rillaboon, over here, over there. Great card anyway, and that is coming in at an absolutely fantastic price of 24 euros and 80 cent is the average price on that. I really should just round all these up to the average euro, which is actually what I done with the next one because it was, well, you'll see. But anyway, coming in at 24 euros and 80 cent, which is absolutely banging. To be quite honest, guys, if I had a couple of the golden Rillaboons at the moment, even for the 25 euro, I would not be selling them. I'm holding on to them Rillaboons. That's right, I'm sorry. There are sorry, why do I say Rillaboons as in it's with an M? It's Rillaboom as in with an M, because he's booming on his drum, that's right. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Like, a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful. I'm surprised. The price isn't a bit higher on that one again at the moment. But as I said, if you have any, hold on to them guys. They're a couple of years down the line, the price is gonna be quite a bit higher. Like let's say it's like, let's say this the chart, this the bottom of the chart. It's sitting here at the moment. I give it a good five, six year stretch and it's gonna be sitting up here. And then as it goes on, I can't even reach how high it is. If you guys don't actually know, um, my arm stretches so it's actually a lot higher than you can think it is right now that's right i am pretty much the exact same as mr fantastic it's touching the ceiling you guys just can't see it that's right so that's how expensive i reckon it's going to get as time goes on it's going to be an expensive card guys and the next card is a card that i feel is going to decrease in value obviously it's a zard it's the charizard v max full art card it's beautiful it's what we all want it's coming in at 90 91 euro at the moment which is a fantastic price but guys it's not a super rare card there's going to be so many of these they're going to be so easily accessible once more packs are getting opened that the price is going to move down a little bit because, it, as I said, it's not a super rare card. It's not a really, really magically, incredibly fantastic. Now, if they had it thrown in a gold Charizard VMAX card, that would be something to be blowing everybody's mind. But it's just a regular VMAX Charizard. It's, it's not super special. It's not really very playable either. So I don't see it holding its value for too long. I actually see it, it will drop down quite soon. I could be totally wrong. We all know Charizards are what everybody wants to buy. But overall, long-term value, I, I just don't see it with this card, guys. I'm sorry. It's a Charizard. It's a VMAX. It's not going to be the rarest Charizard in the world. I've seen, I haven't pulled one yet myself. I do want to pull one. I'd hope to have one in my collection. But I've seen so many people pulling them that I'm just thinking like, is, is it really gonna be that rare? One of my mates sent me a picture the other day. His very, very first pack, he got that Charizard in. You know, well, then again, he did buy like 20 booster boxes, but he'd only opened one booster box and one pack from that booster box. He's actually only opened a few packs so far, so we'll see how many more he gets. But he got that Charizard in his very first pack. Like, so that's making me think this card is going to be popping up absolutely everywhere. It's not going to be the rarest in the world. Don't go out spending hundreds and hundreds of euros on it, guys, because I, 
I think it's going to drop down a little bit in value. I could be wrong. I'm no genius. I'm no super investor. I'm just giving my own personal opinion. So, yeah, that's just how I feel. I find if you guys put your money into the nice gold cards and rainbow cards at the moment, that's where you can make a few quid. And I'm just going to point out a couple of cards that are actually super duper cheap right now that will not be super duper cheap for long. First of all is the Rose Trainer card. Rose Trainer card is a secret rare rainbow card and it's coming in for less than 10 euro. It's coming in at 8 euros and 90 cent which I think is a pretty good value for that card and once again I think that's one that's going to creep up quite good in value especially if you guys get it now while it's relatively cheap it might get a little cheaper before it starts going up so pay attention see what's going on with the prices guys good card to invest in right there also another great card to invest in would be the Pokemon Breeder Nurturer okay that card is coming in at €7.85, another secret rare rainbow card, absolutely beautiful card, I'm surprised it's so cheap at the moment to be quite honest with you. And one more card is the Golden Big Parasol. How it's so cheap right now is beyond me, it's quite a playable card. It's it's a beautiful card in my own personal opinion. I really like the artwork on it. I think the design of the card is quite nice. That's coming in at six euros and 30 cent, which for me, that's too cheap for that card. Personally, I think that card should be up at least at the 10 euro mark right now. But for some reason, it's coming in too cheap. So if you guys can get your hands on that card for a nice cheap price, why not? Go do it. The price is definitely going up. Well, 99.999% sure that the price is going up on this card. So it's a good one to buy. Another one that I'm quite surprised at is Galarian Slowbro V. There's no like full art version of it or anything. Uh, not that I'm aware of anyway. Could be wrong. But the Galarian Slowbro V is currently coming in around one euro at the moment. To be quite honest with you guys, Slowbro is an absolutely iconic Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that's been going since the beginning. Because like, when we all were watching the episodes as kids and we seen the Shelder jump back up, Shelder! Then the Slowbro got attached and he was like, slow. I'm not good at doing the voices. I never have been, I never will be. But anyway, Slowbro is quite iconic. Like a lot of old school Pokemon collectors absolutely love Slowbro. It's a fantastic Pokemon, why would you not love him? And now we have a Galarian version where he's also poisoned up. As well as that, it's actually quite a playable card. Okay, so the fact that it's, price is roughly in around a euro at the moment to get that card and that's that's so cheap guys i'm gonna go online and buy about 10 of them i'm happy to spend 10 euro on 10 slow bro v and because they're beautiful cards they really are absolutely beautiful cards you guys will be able to see it i don't know what side it's going to be on just yet but, but over there anyway guys for the price of it right now, I would definitely be buying a couple of them. Obviously, if everybody goes and starts buying a couple of them, the price is going to pop up a little bit. But if you can get your hands on five or six of them, I'd do it. I, I see them going up quite a bit in value. If you can buy them right now for a euro and sell them down the line for five euro, that's profit, guys. That's how people make money, guys. That's how these big businesses are making an absolute fortune. They're going, they're buying things that they know are going to pop up in value. They're buying them at a low price and they're not just buying one or two. They're buying hundreds of them. Okay, we all don't have money to buy hundreds of the cheap cards right now. But if we can get a couple, why not? Why not make ourselves a few euro and then when a new set comes out, sell them off for a little bit more than what you paid. Then buy the newer cards that you want. It's, it's a way of not wasting your own money. And it could be a good way. It could be a bad way. 
I don't know. I'm no genius. I'm just a dude that loves Pokemon. And spicy food and I ate a really spicy curry earlier and now it's hurting my stomach. Oh. But anyway, that's the end of this video guys. From the guy who loves spicy curries and Pokemon and not together just in case anybody's thinking that I'm putting Pokemon in my spicy curries. That's not what's happening here, okay? I don't eat Pokemon very often. But anyway... I love you all. These are a fantastic bunch of fans that I have. I have to be quite honest. I have the same people recurring all the time, sending really nice messages. We have little chats back and forward. You guys send me a message. I send you back a message. Well, you guys know how a chat works. Um, well, maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Who knows? Oh, I had this really interesting thought earlier on today, okay? What if birds aren't actually singing when they're up high. What if they're actually afraid of heights and they're screaming? Just a thought. Could be wrong. Just what was going through my mind. Anyway, goodbye guys. It's been an absolutely fantastic chat with you guys. I hope everybody gets all the cards that they want from Darkness Ablaze. I know I'm nowhere close to it and I hope you guys get absolutely everything that you want. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, hit that little notification button. Make sure you're making your comments to get in to the giveaways and goodbye, over and out. Mm. I really wish I was cooler. But I'm not. Oh well. Bye.